good morning everyone today's class we will discuss on automatic account determination so what is automatic account determination so as we all know that when you are procuring goods the respect to gr will get posted as well as the invoice will get posted and after that the vendor will get paid so from which account the vendor will get paid so respect to gl account will be there so as per the material type so whatever the material you are doing the goods receipt so as per the material type and as per the plant so what is the type of movement you are doing it's like uh, you are doing internally uh, um, transferring like intra like interest you are doing transfer to the plant or else you are procuring goods from the vendor so based on that what type of order you are doing it will hit the respect to gl accounts with the help of automatic account determination so to hit this automatic account determination we need to do some configuration in sap so here along with uh, mm consultant even fi consultant also will involve so where fi consultant will give gl accounts and all so as per that you need to link all the gl accounts for the account types so before going further uh, we'll discuss on few things like a uh, few concepts which required to know which required to understand the automatic account determination first thing is like automatic account determination which is like main what is the main reason for automatic account determination is like to find respect to gl accounts to find respect to gl accounts a debit and credit will be happen in the gl accounts only so as per the material type what you are selecting based on that the gl accounts will get created so what are the requirements for this one to understand so basically it will work on three things the automatic account determination works on three things one is like material type the other one is movement type other one is valuation area or else valuation grouping code so we'll discuss deeply on all these three things so if you understand all these three things by end of the class you will understand what is automatic account determination how and how the gl accounts are reading when you do goods movement first we will discuss a uh, material uh, sorry material type we will discuss so so before these things we need to configure two more things what is valuation area what is valuation area valuation area is nothing but where the valuation will takes place for the material so if you go to any any industry they will decide the material by the location so in india if you have 10 plants the price may vary from plant to plant so like if you are working in sap you do have company codes and under company codes you will be having plants so if you maintain the valuation area at company code level it means that all the plants which is under this company code will applicable whatever the price you decide for the material it will be applicable for all the plants under this company code what about and as you discussed <clears throat> if you have 10 plants in india so the price may vary from plant to plant so almost 100% of the cases the price may vary from plant to plant so always the companies used to follow the valuation area at plant level so that they can have their own prices the plant level they can have their own prices 
because the state to state you will be having so many things one state they will be having more prices one state they will be having less prices so it's good to have the valuation area at plant level instead of the company code level if you maintain the valuation at company code level so we can't maintain the valuation for the individual plants so all the plants under that company code will be having same price uh, suppose uh, under 1000 company code you have some double zero double one plant double zero double two plant double zero double three plant so if you maintain so if you maintain 1000 company code like for one material material one material a if you maintain prices 10 usd then so this price will be applicable for all these three plants double zero double one plant double zero double two plant as well as double zero double three plant also so if you maintain the valuation at plant level you can have this plant as 10 usd and double zero double zero double zero double two plant has having 9 usd and double zero double three plant will be having 8 usd there are so many reasons why the price may vary there are few reasons the vendor will be in your state only which will be procured and which will be like sales which you will done in the same area so the price may less suppose whatever the plant is laying there is no vendor available to supply that material so the vendor will supply from the other state to this plant so the material price will be get more so there are many reasons where the price will vary from plant to plant so for that reason we need to maintain the valuation area at plant level so valuation area at plant level we will maintain in enterprise structure so whenever we are implementing any uh, new sap uh, to your company then you will decide the where the valuation will get takes place either company code level or plant level so once you maintain the valuation area at company code level or plant level you cannot change once you save the screen the valuation area then you cannot change this will be discussed by the management uh, in the first meeting like project preparation or as a, or as a, a business blueprint they will discuss on uh, how the valuation will takes place like that so 99% of the company they will follow valuation area at plant level only okay and so now we understand about what is valuation area and how the valuation area takes place and i will show you practically this one how to set up the valuation area once you complete all these things like a brief explanation of all these concepts i will move to the configuration and i will show you end to end the configuration how the gl accounts how the valuation classes how the account category reference and all i will show before that i will explain you practically how to do this now we completed valuation area after that we need to understand about account keys it's better to write if you want to write all those things just write and understand the uh, concept or else if you if you can watch the video two to three times you can understand the whole concept uh, how the accounts uh, are reading how the gl accounts are picking just watch the video two to three times so that you will understand very clearly what are account keys in sap so whenever you do any movement type for the material as per the movement type it will hit the account key in sap you have some standard configuration that for this movement type it should hit this account keys only so we can change the standard sap things but many of the companies are like sap recommended that not to change the standard configuration account keys because In account keys you can maintain the standard gl accounts or else your own gl accounts as per your wish but if you change the account keys the whole configuration will change and may and may lead to some issues and all so for that you have your own configuration and uh, but you need to use the same account keys as per the sap recommended and if you have any new movement type then we can have a new account key as as per that we can have new gl accounts also okay and what is account key Uh, suppose uh, the whole things account keys you will do in uh, OBYC. Just understand what is OBYC. You know OBYC will do all the configurations of account, GL accounts, linking and all. So account keys are like we have BSX, WRX, 
GBB, PRD, and we have so many things like that. Like we have FRI, FRL. So you, you will be having uh, many companies there will be having their own account keys, few of the account keys as per the new moment types. So remember few of the account keys which will hit more as per the business transactions. So when will hit the BXX? So whenever any material moment was happening, so material credit or debit will happening, then BSX will hit. So even WRX, WRX is like GRIR clearing account. So you understand these things when I move to the configuration part. So what is GVB? GVB is like offsetting entry. In GVB, there are account modifiers are there. So based on that, it will hit the account modifiers when you do internal transfer postings, internal goods issue and all. So it will hit the GVB. And coming to PRD, PRD it will hit when you have a price difference in the PO with respect to the material standard price. And FRL, FRL is like if you have any standard price, if you have any uh, like uh, you know subcontracting process where you do the services and all, vendor will do services and all. So for that services, it will hit the separate GL account and you have con for consignment settlement accounts. So you will be having different type of account keys as per the uh, procurement, how you are doing, how you are uh, how the business is running based on that account keys will hit. This is account key. So now, now we compare to the valuation area and account key. And next we will discuss on valuation grouping code. So just understand this concept, main main concept, so that it will be good to understand when you do the configuration. So I'll make it red. Uh, yes. Here we discussed on the valuation area. So this is one of the concept valuation area. And we discussed on account keys also. And now we'll discuss on valuation grouping code. So what is valuation grouping code? So as I told you, you'll maintain the valuation at plant level. So if you're maintaining valuation at plant level, so in one company, you may have a around One minute where the valuation will take place. So most of the companies the valuation will take place at plant level. So in a company you will be having around uh, thousand plants. It depends on the company. Medium medium scale company they may have around uh, five hundred plants to thousand plants, and a very big scale companies under they may have uh, n number of plants. So all the companies they want uh, different different GL accounts. It depends on that, okay, like big scale companies, they may have around more than thousand plants. So all the plants needs to fit uh, same GL account or different GL accounts. So you may have thousand plants, thousand, thousand plants may have uh, like uh, they may have one set of GL accounts or else we can do one thing. So under one company code, you will be having n number of plans. Let's think, okay, uh, you will be how you have the business in UK, US and India. And US, under US, you may have around 500 plans. Under UK, you may have 500 plans. And India, you have 500 plans. Total, total we have 1,500 plans. I'll explain you clearly here. We have 1500 plants let's think we have 1500 plants we have this is total plants now under us so let's think okay we have three company codes one is for us one is for uk and one is for india under us company code you have 
फाइव हंड्रेड प्लान अंडर यूके कंपनी कोड यू हैव फाइव हंड्रेड प्लान एंड अंडर इंडिया कंपनी कोड यू हैव फाइव हंड्रेड प्लान सो लेट्स थिंक if you want us company codes to hit separate gl accounts so all these 500 company codes whatever the moment if they are doing you will keep one separate set of gl accounts for this valuation i mean like for all these plans for this finder plans you will set some separate type of gl accounts like you will set some uh, 10 to 15 gl accounts so let's think you are uh, using uh, one uh, like 15 moment types uh, in your business so all these 15 moment types you will be having some 15 gl accounts so let's think okay this all these final plans will hit that 15 gl accounts only so to get this 15 gl accounts on uk also let's think okay on india also same thing <clears throat> so let's think all these final plans 15 gl accounts on these final plans 15 gl accounts on these final plans 15 more gl accounts so this is one set of gl accounts for these plans one set of gl accounts for these plans another another set of gl accounts for these plans so to hit these final plans to 15 gl accounts we need to group these final plans into one valuation grouping code you got it it means that you are grouping all these final plans to help to hit this 15 gl accounts and you can also you are you are grouping all these final plans to one grouping code and it will help to hit the 15 gl accounts respect to gl accounts let's think this valuation grouping code is 3001 this valuation grouping code is 3002 and this valuation grouping code is Triple zero three. Now you will understand clearly. These five hundred plans, these fifteen GL accounts, with the help of this valuation grouping code, and UK five hundred plans, and this set of GL accounts, fifteen set of GL accounts, with the help of this valuation grouping code. So valuation grouping code is like it will group the same certain set of plans, which will have the same attributes. Normally, if you have the plans having the same attributes. then in those cases the uh, management management will decide so all these plans needs to be grouping under one valuation grouping code to hit certain uh, certain set of gl accounts so in company we may have in may you may have around 4 to 5 valuation grouping codes and as per that you uh, the fi people they used to create gl accounts and as per that you will update in obyc respect to valuation grouping code you will, uh, will maintain in obyc this configuration and all you can see in the when you move to uh, config uh, when you move to like just understand this concept so once you understand this concept concept uh, while configuration i will explain you how to maintain this valuation grouping code and gl accounts so now we done with valuation area and account keys and valuation grouping code now i will show you practically how we can do this <coughs> One minute. First thing is like we need to define the valuation area. Where the valuation area should be takes place, as we discussed before. First thing we need to do is valuation area. So where we will define valuation area? This is the SPRO settings. I will open. I will open again. Slash and SPRO. SAP reference image. You can see here enterprise structure. So 
when you are defining this valuation area either company code level or plant level this will be in the enterprise structure level go to definition and go to logistics general you can see here define valuation level where the valuation level where the valuation should take place let's check it here you can see valuation area is at plant level so this will you cannot change once it is defined once you save this screen uh, while implementation you cannot change this setting again if you want to change the uh, again you should have many approvals and you should reboot the system and after that you can change the valuation area um, but this is very critical thing so now this is done now we will see one more thing first we will discuss on material type <clears throat> as i told you three things one is material type one is valuation grouping code material type valuation grouping code and uh, movement type and i'll show you account keys also but three remember this three we'll now we will do the configuration based on this three material type valuation grouping code and movement type and i will click on explaining you why material type and why valuation grouping code and why movement type make a note of all these things so that you will understand all these things so what is material type so in every company you may have around 20 to 30 material types we have standard plus custom material types we have R R O H we have H A L B Ford Verb so you may have many type of material types as per your company so so under this material type you know that uh, what is the significance of material type material type will control the okay here we discuss on three things one is material type valuation grouping code and movement type so i will explain you each and everything and and i'll write here what are the importance of material type and what are the prerequisites of material types and how the configuration will work as uh, other things i will write here and i'll explain the configuration just follow as i say so what is material type material type is like it describes what the type of material that is is it like a raw material a semi finished good finished good or like a third party material trading goods so based on the material type we will decide what type of gl accounts you should hit so we are procuring a material is it a raw material or semi finished good or finished good we are procuring a material so once you procure a raw material it will hit certain type of gl accounts when you procure any semi finished goods it will hit separate type of gl accounts like that each and every material type they will be having certain type of gl accounts it will be good for reporting purpose also that how much they spend for uh, uh, each material type and each material group uh, is, is it like easy for them uh, for the management to know how much they spend for this material type and based on that they can they can plan for the next year and, uh, and they can keep the budget for that so this will be very useful for the reporting purpose as well as these things uh, mainly for this reasons only we used to keep different type of valuation classes different type of gl accounts uh, we can say that under material type you have material groups also <clears throat> so you have material groups also so so one material type is equal to you can can you can you can uh, see as one material type is equal to one account category reference i will explain you what is account category reference oh, sorry so account category reference is very important so one material type if i see the screen to you if you go for creation of material 
enter a metal industrial sector is mechanical metal type is roh there's an example i'll show you so one material type Let's think we are in accounting details. We will maintain the valuation classes. So once you enter the material type, once you click here valuation class, and if you click here F4, you can see here different type of valuation classes here. So you can see here four types of valuation classes are there. You have four valuation classes. So one material type is equal to four valuation classes. So how did you maintain these four valuation classes for one material type? So in the configuration, you don't have any direct link between the material type and the valuation classes. You cannot maintain the valuation class for the material type directly. Indirectly, we can maintain. How you maintain indirectly? With the help of account category reference. And I will show you practically also. So account category reference is an interview question also. They will ask you what is the use of account category reference. Account category reference so account category reference helps us to maintain multiple gl accounts multiple valuation classes for the one material type account category reference helps to maintain multiple it can be any any like four to five it depends on the company you can maintain 10 also helps to maintain multiple valuation classes for one material type i'll show you practically that one and material groups so if you're working on material type metal group is the mandatory thing where you should work so how you will define if you're working in any company how you will define how many valuation classes you required so client will ask you that how many valuation classes i need so then you will tell that how many types of material groups we have. You, you have ROH type of material type you have. R, raw material is the material type. So under raw material type, you have how many material groups are there? What is material group? It will group uh, same attributes of material into one group. That is called material group. So how many material groups do you have? So they may tell you that uh, we have around 10 material groups. 10 material groups under one material type so under one material type we have 10 material groups so now we will tell that if you have 10 material groups we can create 10 valuation classes put it one material type is equal to 10 material groups so 10 material groups is equal to 10 valuation classes so how you will configure in the sap now we have one material type one material type is equal to one account category reference and one material group is equal to one valuation class. If you have five material groups, then we have five valuation classes five valuation classes so now we will i will show you that how can you achieve in sap that this scenario one material type is equal to one icon reference and one material group is equal to one valuation classes so now we will take example we will define one material type and for that material type we will create one account category reference and for that account category reference we will assign five to six valuation classes and we will see first this one after that i will explain you valuation grouping code and moment type and finally i will explain about obyc it means account determination settings for this first i will define material type uh, second key, I can take one material, but uh, uh, 
how we define material type go to logistic general material master sorry material master is having basic settings here material types different attributes of material types so material types is like a very important it will plays a very important role in account determination and I'll explain you where the settings and where these things work work out and i will defining a new material type because i need to i want to you to show one more thing in material type so that you will understand Better account determination. Let's think we are copying from GRY material. Copy as I am creating one material type that is YTRD, which means uh, I am mentioning okay, just account purpose, account raw material. Just uh, So if you see YTRD icon raw material here, if you see the left icon, quantity by value updating. To so double click here, it will show you that this YTRD is managed under quantity or value basis. This valuation area this is this valuation area means plant. So just think the thousand plant. The material will be managed under value basis or quantity basis. Both. Let's think. Okay, for thousand plant, uh, uh, they will not uh, they will not value this material as value basis. They will value this as only quantity basis. Just untick this one and save it. And for this, if you do the movement type, uh, if you are procuring from vendor, and if you do one at one movement type with respect to thousand plant, and only. If you see the quantity updating, quantity update tab is there. So when you do the movement type, only material document will get posted. No iconic document because it is managed under quantity basis, not on value basis. And further, there is a different type of uh, things are there that I explain you. Just I'll understand you to just I will do, I will tell you to understand these things based on the valuation area. We will decide the material will be managed under value basis or quantity basis. This is quantity basis and this is value basis. Just save it. Come back. And you said YTRD is the material type. Now go to MM01. Mention YTRD a cone raw material which is which we created uh, now for thousand plant only. Just mention some short text each. Okay. And if you see the valuation class here. It was taken like RK01, RK02, and RK03. Why it is taken RK01, RK02, RK03? Because we copied from one of the material type. We, co we copied from one of the material type where it copied even the account reference also. And for same material type, it was taken. Now I'll show you those settings. We we'll remove those settings and I'll show you. We should go to materials management. Sorry. 
go to materials management you can go to here valuation and account assignment which is called olmw and go to account determination account determination without wizard and if you can see here <coughs> different valuation classes in this we have sub configurations we need to do material type to account value reference so what in the material type we defined it was copied from one of the existing material type so you just copied the account category reference also so go to the material type which we defined by trd just remove the account category reference and save it now go and create a material for this one mm01 i will explaining you step by step so that you will understand the account account determination perfectly by end of the class please follow all these things create one material now for thousand plant machine as test material each material group volume material number and now see the valuation classes so it was telling that no values found so for this material type and for this plant there are no valuation class defined so how this material uh, material documents as accounting documents will be created it will not create any material document as well as accounting document without valuation classes so for this we need to maintain the valuation classes now okay i will mention here we created a material type material type is equal to yt rd so as i told you that one material type is equal to one account category reference we have material type yt rd so we need to create one account category reference now we need to create one account category reference now go back into the configuration here we see account category reference if you want i will go back and i will come again directly you can come to slash n o l m w it will come to the same screen it is a t code for account determination valuation and account assignment so if you see here account determination account determination without wizard define valuation classes here you will define the valuation Uh, for the valuation you define the account category reference so select the account category reference and here what you told what you told you, you need to define one new account category reference one material type is equal to one account category reference we will define one account category reference here account category reference as let's take as 9865 description as testing 9865 is the account category reference so we created 9865 is the account category reference now we completed the material type now material groups we have so let's see the company has decided that under one ytrd material ytrd is a raw material so under ytrd raw material you have five material groups we have one is like uh, hydrocarbons other one is like a uh, research material uh, we, under one material type we may have some metal groups we have different type of metal groups we have let's think you have five metal groups we have so five metal groups you will define but nowhere you will link to the metal groups this just for our purpose that how many metal groups is equal to that many valuation classes now let's think that we have five material groups so how many valuation classes we need to create now as already created account category reference and five metal groups we created let's think we created five group metal groups also uh, i am not creating metal groups because there is no link between the metal groups and account category reference just for the reference purpose i am taking as valuation classes so five metal groups is equal to 
फाइव वैल्युएशन क्लासेस यू शुड बी समथिंग रेफरेंस राइट यू शुड बी समथिंग रेफरेंस टू डिफाइन ए वैल्युएशन क्लासेस सिंपली यू कॉन्ट डिफाइन आई वॉन्ट टेन वैल्युएशन क्लासेस द क्लाइंट विल आस्क यू वाई यू वॉन्ट टेन वैल्युएशन क्लासेस you can tell that okay you have 10 material groups under this material type so that i am defining 10 valuation classes okay now we have five material groups and five valuation classes we need to define now go to the configuration we have defined the account category reference come back the same screen you can see the valuation class second option you can see valuation class click on valuation class and here We have new entries. You can see here valuation class plus account category reference. So what is the account category reference we are defining? We will link the valuation classes to the account category reference. What are new entries? I am defining new valuation classes. Okay, double one, double one is a new valuation class with the account category reference is nine eight six five. And I have. Double one, one two, triple one, three, triple one, four, and triple one, five, and same account category reference because with this material type we are defining the valuation classes. Just enter. If you want to maintain the description, maintain description. This is for raw material. This is for raw material liquid. This is for raw material solid. This for raw material packaging. This is for uh, research. Save it. So we defined five valuation classes and link it to account category reference. Save it. Come back. So we defined account category reference and we defined valuation classes also. Okay. So valuation classes like triple zero, like triple one, one. Come on, triple one two. Come on, triple one three, triple one four, and triple one five. We define five valuation classes also. Now, what we should do? The second category reference is there. We link to second category reference. This valuation class and all. So now we should link the material type to the account category reference. So that what and all valuation classes link to second category reference, it will come interlinked with the material type. So while defining material type. All the valuations classes will come into picture. You can see the third option here: material type by account category reference. Here we will link the material type to the account category reference. So what is the material type we define? YT RD account for raw material. So what is the account category reference we define? Nine eight six five nine eight six five. Just enter and save it. Okay. Now we link it. Material type to account category reference. So we link material type with the account category reference. Now what we will come? Now what will come? So if we are creating one material type with YTRD. YTRD. Then, in accounting view of the material master, you can see the valuation classes are this five valuation classes. You can see under this material type, we have five valuation classes. So, when you are defining these material types on a material under this material type, you can see all these valuation classes. So, now I will show you one example. Slash and MM zero one. The material type is YTRD. Enter. Mention as thousand plant and test. Basic unit measurement each. Maintain something these values and all. And go to the accounting view of the material master. Here, if you see the valuation class, press F4. You can see here. Five valuation classes are there here, which we define in the configuration. Triple one two, triple one three, triple one four, triple one five. Got it? How this came automatically? 
this is one of the setting we will do in the configuration for account determination you understand this one so that we will move for the second step in the account account determination so what is the next step we are doing valuation grouping code i will mention here metal type as first step valuation grouping code as second step payment type as third step okay and fourth step is obyc so we defined this one now valuation grouping code as i told you what is valuation grouping code valuation grouping code will group the certain same attributes of plans to one grouping code uh, for example as i told you that under us company code you may have 500 plans all those 500 plans will group into one grouping code same like that if you have uh, plans in all the countries so you can group all those one country is equal to one company code under one company code you have one valuation grouping code so that it will hit certain set of gl accounts with the help of valuation grouping code so now we will see valuation grouping code how it will works go to the same configuration olmw this is the same skin but i am opening again olmw for your reference go to account determination account determination without wizard and if you see the second option here group together valuation area so whenever you see the valuation area valuation area means where the valuation will take place means it means plant valuation area is nothing but plant group together valuation area execute okay here if you see this valuation area means plant this is the company code this is like sap standard chart of accounts chart of accounts it means that it, it will be defined with respect to the company code is mostly into the fi code chart of accounts is at company code level don't worry about chart of accounts now see the valuation grouping code valuation grouping code this is the valuation grouping code here if you can see so all these plans if you see here from 1000 plant 1100 plan to all these plans are linked for one valuation grouping code it means that if you are doing movement type for all these plans it will hit the valuation grouping code as this one okay for all these plans all these plans are grouped to this valuation grouping code so if you have plans let's think okay all these plans are in us and all this all this first uh, you can see here all these three plans are in us hmm. let's see this all these plans are in us so valuation grouping code is us01 and if you see in the top if you see here all these valuation grouping code are in india let's think so all these valuation grouping code has all these uh, plants having one valuation grouping code this one you can see this is canada this canada group plants we have other valuation grouping code so as per the company you may have uh, one valuation grouping code uh, for whole the comp for whole company or else as per the country you have a valuation grouping code also but uh, it's good to have as per the country valuation grouping codes for already 1000 plant uh, there is a valuation grouping code i will mention as 3001 for 3001 i am maintaining the, this is this plan the valuation grouping code is same as same thing so whenever i do any movement type for 1000 it will hit the valuation grouping code as 3001 only just remember like if in you as per the country wise what are the plans are there you will group all those plans to one grouping code just keep in mind that 
one country plants one grouping code other company plants other grouping code same like that every country plants is equal to respect to grouping code save it and come back now we computed the valuation grouping code also <coughs> now next one value grouping code done it means that for thousand plan we maintain the valuation grouping code for example so if you want to maintain this valuation grouping code active i mean like uh, for this one you need to define this one valuation grouping code as active then only it will become active valuation grouping code if you want to link all those uh, plans to one group first you need to activate here define valuation control is there right so here we need to activate the valuation grouping code active after that you need to maintain this valuation grouping code nothing else nothing else like right and the next step is movement types so i'll show you one screen so when you will do this my go movement type means nothing but a my go like if you are doing any movement uh, if you are procuring any goods from the vendor then you will go to my go and you will do the uh, goods received so once you order a material from the vendor the vendor will deliver the goods to the plant so once it delivered then you will go and do the my go it means that uh, we received the goods and we are doing the goods received so that now we can pay to the vendor so whenever you do the goods uh, like a goods receipt it means that you are acknowledging that you received the goods you received the goods means what all goods you received it is posting to the inventory like it will be get it's like inventory it is eating the inventory what all goods you, you procured it is storing it is storing in the inventory so it will it should add to the inventory at that time there should be one account keys needs to be there which will have it as per the account so for that we have movement type and account keys 